Alright, you guys, to support us here, go to PayPal at themullings at gmail.com. For those of you with tickets, citations, mortgages, foreclosures, those of you with child support cases, also, also those of you with student loans, warrants, and for those of you having to see an agent doing business as parole officer, as well as those of you in for non-violent offenses, non-violent offenses people, um, you can email us to get the GSA bonds to set off, set off, set off the matter. And then you can email us for the 1099 OID templates to get back whatever um, charges or finances they claimed you owed. They tell us it's $2 million per charge. You can also email us for the list of the fees for each charges, um, as well as you can email us for the IRS um, status correction document. Those of you who are Moors or Maroons, you can go to rvbaypublications.com to get your Moorish American um, identification card. If you also know you're Maroon, you can go to L.A. Lewis online. I don't know L.A. Lewis. Okay, you guys? So just go get your card and that, yeah, your indigenous, indigenous card, that's it. Um, what else? Um, you can also email us for the do not detain affidavit and um, also for the, um, I said the, I, oh, the manufacturer certificate of origin for the automobile. So you own that. Also, you guys go and get the certificate of live birth from Vital Statistics. Now, we had contacted Service Ontario to ask them in Canaanite Land, Canada, to ask them if they also provide the certificate of live birth. And yesterday, thank you to the powers that be, they wrote back to us and said, yes, they provide that as well. So you can go to Service Ontario, if those of you in Canaanite Land, Canada, and order. I don't know the fee exactly. Um, or you could phone them and they will tell you the procedure and how much it costs, right? Um, what else? Those of you who are um, getting the certificate of live birth, also we recommend go to the GMEI website and see who's trading on the social security number, right? And then uh, once you know, then you'd write to the powers that be. We wrote to um, a host of entities to have it removed. Those agents that were trading on it without our permission or authorization, um, you guys hear us talk about the FBI um, deputy um, the um, Fraud Department, the Securities and Exchange Commission, um, Commissioner um, Jay Clayton, um, the Office of Comptroller of Currency, Joseph Odding, um, and a host of other entities you hear us talk, talk about here. Megan Brennan doing business as Postmaster General. Um, yeah, and then something else, somebody asked me about the UCC. The UCC, we had done the... the, the UCC first, we didn't have the words to put on it. We asked the powers that be what to put in it. They sent it to us. And then we discovered years later to do the non-UCC. Um, so we share that now as well. Um, the non-UCC, you guys can also go to Jonah Bay. Um, he has information as to how to do it as well too, eh? Um, what else? Somebody else had asked us another question. And I said I would try my best to answer. The reason why I answer some of the questions here is that other people may have the same question and they can, yeah, they can access the information on the video so it's easier for us and them so we don't have to, yeah. Um, what else? Somebody else had shared with us. They were in Canaanite land, Canada. Um, two things. Somebody had shared about general, oh, I hope I remember to click on that video, that email. They were talking about general versus special um, drawing. I want to say drawing rights. I think it was something else. Um, thank you, Duran, Duran Tanzanite, for that. Hopefully, I get to read that. And they were also sharing, Duran was sharing about the importance of the, um, the post, the stamps. We were sharing about the two cent stamps. You guys put two cent stamps on everything you do with the two lines over it. Um, and your thumbprint and your signature across it. All right, I'd like to start with the scripture, Psalms 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will neither slumber nor sleep. 
He that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Thank you to Copyright Virginia's Tressie Rockamore, a True Roots, Horatio Bay. Horatio Bay, a huge thank you to you, Mike Middleton. Um, uh, Olga Bay and a host of you sharing with us your research, eh? And a huge thank you to the powers that be, to Donald Trump, to the Marines, the Navy, the Army, the military. Someone shared with us a really powerful video yesterday, and they were saying that Donald Trump will go down in history as one of the most important people in history. You realize the amount of stuff this man has done for us with the help of the generals. Thank you to the generals who has taken the time to implement so many of these executive orders and shift so many things. It's not even funny. In addition to, they tried to censor him yesterday. I think it was on Facebook. So there's new um, stuff coming down out of the executive orders for social media. And a lot of stuff he's doing and taking back the media. Um, yesterday we got a video. I'm going to go through it now. Uh, I was so grateful because I got it and I, I literally had to turn off everything and go and sit down for a minute and absorb what this whole thing was saying. And when I got it, I was saying to Rachel, Rachel Bay how I was going to have to sub transcribe that video and um, <laughs> It was going to take me a minute. And sure enough, I got up this morning and here it is, right? All right. This is um, the names of those that are arrested and executed. Um, thank you to the powers that be for sharing this with us this night. Horatio, a huge thank you to you. Rumsfeld, arrested and executed. Adam Schiff, arrested at Gitmo. Eric Schmidt, arrested at Gitmo. Uh, Debbie... Um, does that say Debbie Wasserman Schultz? Arrested at Gitmo. George Soros arrested and executed. Thank you, God. Um, Maxine Waters arrested at Gitmo. Sally Waits Yates arrested at Gitmo. Nancy Pelosi arrested at Gitmo. Chuck Schumer arrested at Gitmo. Ruth Bader um, that Ginsburg arrested and executed. Peter, Sh what is that, Shrick? I wish it was a bit clearer. Arrested at Gitmo. Ella Cummings, arrested and executed. Jacinda Ad Adern, arrested under house arrest. Tom Hanks, arrested and executed. Rita Wilson Hanks, arrested and executed. Madonna, arrested and executed. Lady Gaga, arrested and executed. Oprah Winfrey, arrested at on house arrest. Ellen DeGeneres arrested and on house arrest. Steven Spielberg arrested and on house arrest. Harvey Weinstein arrested and in prison. Jeffrey Epstein arrested and serving life in prison. Pope Francis arrested and executed. Queen Elizabeth arrested and executed. Philip Windsor arrested and executed. Charles Windsor arrested and executed. Justin Trudeau, arrested on, and on house arrest. Scott Morrison, arrested and on house arrest. Um, something Windsor, um, I can't see the first name, Henry Windsor, I don't know. Arrested on, and on house arrest. You know, I was sitting there when I got this um, video yesterday. I think there's more names on this list that are both arrested and executed now. And I was asking the ethers and the gods, if this was for real, like, did this really go down? And Spurt said, yes. And I was asking about um, um, some of the names that were on there. I didn't recognize them. Some of the names that are on this list, she had also listed that Barack Obama was arrested and executed on her list. Hillary Clinton was also arrested and executed. Um, Bill Clinton was also arrested and executed. Um, who else was there? The Bush, all the Bushes were arrested and executed. Uh, Laura Bush, um, George, somebody wrote to me about the video we created with the indictment of um, George um, Bush Sr., I think it was. And I was saying, yes, that's what they sent to us. Um, 
and there were some other names that she had on that list that were also arrested and executed. I might go through that list in the next video as well, too, to see if some of the names, because she didn't have um, Oprah Winfrey, and she didn't have Lady Gaga, and she didn't have Madonna on hers, or Rita Wilson, and a bunch of the names that um, are listed here. So Horatio, or you guys, if you have the proper list with all the names on it, send it to us, and we'll read it for you guys. But do you guys feel a shift in energy? Do you guys feel it? Like, the place is getting lighter, right? That the dark forces, like, I mean, I know that there's still probably some pockets here and there. All we ask now, Donald Trump, is that you go now and round up all the agents doing business as governors globally. Globally, people are reporting that. What we're seeing now, um, I was saying the, the agents doing business as prime ministers, governors, and probably the mayors and some of the state heads that also have to be rounded up for treason and genocide as well. Um, and the, the news media, you've got to take back the news media globally, especially here. We were traveling on the roadway yesterday, two things. And um, we were listening to, when we got to the place, they had the radio on. And sure enough, on the radio, there were guys talking about the sports industry or something to do with sports. And would you believe one of the sports commentators was talking about social distancing and the importance of it. And I thought, really, you're still talking about that when all these riots have taken place in that? In addition to the fact somebody reported that they were trying to, all right, Donald Trump started up the rallies again and they were like a million plus strong. Tickets were sold out or, yeah, I guess gone within moments, right? Um, I think it was Yusuf El shared the video about this man. I don't know his name. I don't remember his name exactly, but I'm going to put the link to the in the description below I'll put the link to that video but it was this more this black man that was talking about he will follow Donald Trump wherever he's going basically and he will support him because of all that you know he's done and I was just it was just amazing to hear our people are now um, aware of all the things that are taking place um, that Donald Trump has implemented for all of us eh? huge thank you like it's just incredible what's going on you guys so anyways, um, we were listening to it, and there it was on the radio. They were talking about the same garbage, and we thought, really? So the rally started, and here it was, this agent doing business as attorney, string his ass up for treason and genocide, went and did some kind of lawsuit to try to shut down the rallies, right? Claiming that it would create a second wave. Of the, the, they're calling it a scandemic, a scandemic, plandemic, patent, fraud, fiction, um, sitting and we were listening to that and what the commentator commentator was saying was isn't it interesting how they had a New York Times post um, with a whole host of people they had taken a snapshot of the rioters right no masks no social distancing all these agents were out Christ creating all kinds of havoc Donald Trump going around them up this night because all day we've been thinking about the fact that there's elders and seniors in those apartment buildings and children and babies that have to get access to baby food and, and all kinds of stuff in order to live, right? And if those entities are surrounding those, those districts, those areas, people can't get out of their apartments to get food. So you got to go and round them up this night. Hopefully we'll hear that they're taken off the streets, right? So people can be free in Seattle and all these different 400 plus cities that they've taken over, right? Just round them up this night for treason and genocide and racketeering and peonage and estate land theft, war crimes against humanity and all the rest of it in this new Holocaust, apartheid, a concentration camp that they have the people under, right? Round them up. Anyways, so... We were looking at that and saying, yeah, it's quite well and good. They never, not one person complained in so-called the democratic um, Nazi movement about the rioters on the street in lieu of this second wave crap, scamdemic plan sitting. But all of a sudden, Donald Trump is doing the rally and they have something to say about, oh, it's going to cause this, that, and the other thing. Really? Are you serious? And then the next thing that has to happen is... The um, place has to open up properly for said tourism because we realize that a lot of the people here are dependent on that industry um, for their livelihood as well. 
So it looked like a plane came in here and there were some on it that they said supposedly tested positive for what the common cold, the flu, a fever. So let them come clean on the airwaves now so the people know what's really going on because they said people have died more from the, the, the from a flu in history. There have been more deaths from the flu than anything else and they never shut down the globe in this way. In addition to the fact this thing has been reduced to less than a common cold, right? And now we know it's the 5G that they've set up with this crap in it that's causing the people all kinds of harm in Italy and wherever else, right? So go and remove those 5Gs now. And so the people can get on with life, man. This was March, April, May, June. We're four months in. That's crazy, right? It needs to stop now. We need to get back to a level of, yeah, some sense of normalcy. And then round up those agents doing business as <laughs> heads here who are owners of the so-called um, corporations, the four that we sent to you privately, Donald Trump, go and round them up now for instilling this fraudulent conveyance of language on the masses and then subjecting them to undue um, hardship and in, impeding in their ability to do commerce and through um, threat, duress, and co through coercion under threat, duress, and, and um, coercion, right? So go and round them up this night for that fraud and treason and genocide impeding on their people's right to travel, right? In addition to that, we were traveling yesterday and our driver was saying we're about to go through this. Um, he calls it the so souls, the soldiers and stuff. And he was saying um, they they know I'm we're coming and they know you're an empress. He was talking to me. And sure enough, when we got there, the um, soldier um, was gracious enough to call me empress. And he was saying to us to have a, a good day and whatnot. Very polite, very respectful. And the driver was saying, see, I told you. <laughs> um, they, they know that, yeah, who you are. And uh, So it's just nice to see that in that level. But yeah, this, this stuff is real. Boy, someone was asking in the video um, that the lady created in the comment section whether this really happened. Those of you who are clairvoyant to have eyes to see and ears to hear when we saw the picture with um i want to say carter um uh was it bill clinton bush on um, the different levels of the bush cartel and then barack obama and then above them was standing lady gaga and everybody was asking was lady gaga a man or a woman because at that point we didn't know what was going on which kind of looked had that appearance of Marilyn Monroe, but at the same time, we were wondering if it was a male or female, right? So now all that has to happen is the clarity on the ground. We're seeing a couple things um, here go down. Donald Trump going now to, um, I know you have the, the, the special surveillance cameras to see the shooting that went down in Sablomar yesterday find those agents and round them up and yeah just so the people can be free to move around and breathe a little easier right so thank you in advance for your speedy response to this matter but yeah this is the list you guys um hopefully i'll get one that's a little bit clearer and a little bit more detail because there's more names on this list and when i think about her list and this one this one has some different names on it and yeah, so Rumsfeld arrested and executed. Adam Schiff arrested at Gitmo. Eric Schmidt arrested at Gitmo. I want to say Debbie Wasserman Schultz arrested and at Gitmo. George Soros arrested and executed. Maxine Waters arrested and, and at Gitmo. She also said um, Bill Gates was arrested and on an, and on house arrest. And Fauci, Anthony Fauci, was arrested. They let him out for a minute to help Donald Trump, Donald Trump do something. And now he's back at Gitmo. So I'm waiting to hear those two being executed as well, too. Nancy Pelosi arrested. Wait, Sally Yates. Hold on. Maxine Waters arrested at Gitmo. Sally Yates arrested at Git and at Gitmo. Nancy Pelosi arrested and at Gitmo. Chuck Schumer arrested and at Gitmo. Ruth Bader 
Ginsburg arrested and executed. Peter Sh Peter Schick, Schick arrested and at Gitmo. Um, Ella Cummings, um, I don't know if that's right. I might have the, the wrong. Cummings arrested and at Gitmo. Yacinda Adern arrested and, and under house arrest. Tom Hanks arrested and executed. Rita Wilson Hanks arrested and executed. And just so you guys are aware of what's gone on, you can go back to our older videos for more details as to why they've been arrested and executed. It's a pedophilia ring, the human trafficking, and all the harm that they've created on this entire planet. Um, Madonna arrested and executed. Also, Donald Trump, you've got to shut down the World Health Organization and the Center for Disease Control and the National Institute for Health and the Department of Defense that, um, oh yeah, what happened to um, Henry Kissinger? Henry Kiss, send us that one because we want to know he should be executed by now. Um, shut down. There's different military operations that were going on, you guys. So what happened was the Clinton um, Foundation, the Clintons and... Um, and the Bush family, which were cousins, that cartel, Barack Obama was Bush's cousin. They were running the show and had been, they set up all these charitable organizations and all these other corporations and had gone into Haiti under the auspices of Red Cross and all this crap, stole the people's wealth, collected all these donations, and people never saw a dime for that, right? I want to say that um, in doing so, they set up this Department of Defense, this particular Department of Defense they used to create the, the patent uh, with the help of, I guess, what was going on. A lot of their headquarters were in Wuhan, China, where they set up the adrenochrome um, company that was making the adrenochrome, which, which was the blood that they were drinking from the humans, right? Um, which they were using to so-called stay young or whatever they were using it for, some kind of a drug that was like more intense than cocaine or something. And then they had set up um, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation was over in Wuhan, China, I think. And a lot of these corporations were over in China. So this patent and stuff for this crap COVID no novel garbage was set up over in, I think, I want to say Wuhan, China. And then they later said to us that the Rothschilds Rockefeller Foundation, um, their other corporation called Pilgrim, was set up over in the United Kingdom, which was very close to Wuhan, China. And so they did set up the 5Gs over in Wuhan, China, and was experimenting on the people over there, hence killing off all those people. And then they brought it over to the rest of the globe, right? This is nothing new, people. And then we discovered recently that the 5Gs is a military operation of weapons of mass destruction to so-called fry the people's brains, right? So you got to go remove that now. And um, they were telling us to use copper and different things in the meantime, in between time. But you got to remove it. Um, you can feel the shift in the energy in the atmosphere. So you got to take that out of the system, eh? And what else? The we, A lot of us Moors and conscious people had to go after AT&T. They had arrested the heads there. They probably executed them as well, too, for fraud and treason and genocide, as they were responsible for putting up all the 5Gs, right? In addition to the fact, like here, Digicel and Flow Heads, which... Um, Mr. Um, Chin, LaSalle's Chin, I think his name was, and um, Garfield Sinclair and them were responsible for taking the bribes to implement this crap. So you guys go now and find out in your areas, you'll see whoever's in charge of the so-called phone companies, or I think Jamaica Public Service was also involved in the utilities, probably Hydro One in Canaanite Land, Canada. They had to help to get these towers put up, right? All right, so they have to be charged for treason and genocide as well. And then we discovered what that family, what was the name of the family? The Payser, P-A-Y-S-E-U-R. The pay, they pay the, e, get it? Pay E-U-R, pay the Europeans, right? The Payser Family Trust 
claims that they own all this stuff, all these corporations and stuff. So they were getting payouts from all the railroad companies and all the corporations. And I want to say globally under this Nazi communist communism regime, right? So they had said that all the utility companies that came in that were offering um, free or lower cost electricity or utilities, they immediately bought them all over, like took them over, bought them out. And so that's why people were subject to so much extortion through these utility companies. And so when we we're watching Q and stuff, Q was saying that we're at the Godfather, um, and I want to say it was a third, um, yeah, it was a third one. So you have the, the first, second, and third. I thought it was four different Godfather movies, but my offspring was saying it was a third one. The third one was where they were taking out the agent doing business as Pope, the agent doing business as Swiss banker, and all the heads that were responsible for um, interfering with the whole financial industry. And so Nasser and Jasera was supposed to kick in. I think they said it kicked in today. And then they said probably by Tuesday, the dinars and the um, Zim were supposed to be trading properly so the people can trade those out and go down with their lives. And remember what they're saying to people that when you get them, you have to go and fix up. You have to have like a project that you have that you're going to be doing right. So now, you know, you got to fix up the communities in your areas and um, give some to the people in the areas that were affected by probably some of these riots and stuff, right? And then, yeah, so all the stuff that has been going on for years and years and years, the Bill and Clinton um, cartels were in, involved in the drug cartel. They were the ones running the show um, for all of it so that they were going around to all these different countries and selling out intellectual properties and I was just listening to this one um, agent doing business professor in the universities, I want to say Wolf, and he was talking about um, socialism versus um, capitalism. And now we know that the so-called socialism and capitalism, it's this Nazi regime, this communist regime, where all these communist agents came over. And I want to say prior to even Hitler, and there was like four different Hitlers, um, one looked like us melanated and then three other Caucasian Hitlers. We also found out that Prescott Bush, which was um, so-called Bush cartel, was working for Adolf Hitler and helped to fund him to do all that crap, right? He brought over the scientists in the CIA and the CIA got corrupted. Eh? They were supposed to be overseeing the foreign intelligence and stuff and they just became corrupted and started um, doing all these underhanded operations. And so they sent us these masks that the people were um, wearing that looked like, if you see the mask, like I did the video a couple days ago, which didn't do it justice. I'd done another video and it didn't work out. But the, the video, click on a couple of days ago, I made a video about the masks have to be removed. There were these masks, they, they were rubber, but they looked like they were black people. And this one guy put on the mask with a, some sunglasses and robbed all these banks. So they went to round up the guy. Now they put it on the, the airways and they went to his house. And his mother was saying that he, she knew why they were there. That they were there to arrest him for doing these bank robberies. Only to find out after they arrested him, the girlfriend of the real guy that did the, the bank robberies, which happened to be a Caucasian guy that put on that black mask. Um, and she was the one that confessed that it was her boyfriend that did the robberies, eh? And that's how they found out that this mask was what they were using. So a lot of people reported to us that a lot of those people in the riots and stuff were wearing these masks. So they look like black people, Moors or yeah, black people, they weren't, they were Caucasians who had these masks. You see what I'm saying, people? So we're saying to Donald Trump, go and round up all those masks because they're not cheap. They're like, uh, I think, close to a thousand or more for those masks. And those are props that you'd see like in movies. Do you guys remember years ago, those of us who were out here when this stuff started? You remember where they had all those riots? They weren't riots. They were called the, um, the thing about Wall Street. We're talking about the 1%. 
and they'd taken over these areas and stuff. And then they reported some of those people that they saw in those events were some of the celebrities and stuff. They had been able to match up the heirs. The heirs, the, everybody has a different set of ears. Like there's no two ears that, that are alike. And so they were able to find, I think it was Tom Cruise and different celebrities that were in these venues, right? <laughs> All right, and so they were wearing these masks, but the ears were exposed. Now, in the video the lady made about these arrests and those who were executed, she was saying a lot of what we're seeing now with these agents are clones. And she's saying, how do you know that they're a clone? Is that they're heirs. The heirs that they're using, like Biden is also, I think she said, was he executed or he's under arrest? Because um, it's a, a clone that you're looking at. And she's saying the heirs don't come out. Like the earlobes at the bottom part, they don't stick out. They're like right next to the to the head, right? So she said, that's how you find out that they're actual clones. But she said, most of what you're seeing, the Hillary Clinton that you're seeing now is a clone. The Biden that you're seeing now is a clone. And she says, what happens is after a while, the clone malfunctions, right? And when the clone malfunctions, then they have to get a new one. So um, just round up all those clones now and remove them. Oh my goodness. So much stuff has happened, you guys. It's incredible. When I go back in history and see all the stuff that's taken place, basically, and how did a lot of us end up staying on this journey? We just knew that this stuff was, um, there was more to it than that. There was more to it than that because for me, when I first started this journey, um, the first set of people that I came in contact with that were being subjected to undue hardship and war crimes against humanity was this one um, lady who was a senior citizen. And she was explaining to me her story. The first video we created was me interviewing her and she was describing what she went through. And I was just shocked to say the least. And then she was explaining they had two or three different driver's license with the different variations of her name and different addresses. And that's how we discovered there was like mass fraud going on. At the time, there was nobody in Canaanite land, Canada, that we could turn to for any of this stuff. And I was sharing with you guys how I wrote to all the heads there and got nothing, eh? Anyways, they sent me the powers that be, the ancestors, the angels and the gods, said to me to write to the Internal Revenue Service um, head commissioner at 1111 Constitution Avenue, Washington, D.C., in parentheses, square brackets, you guys, put the postal, the zip code 20224, attention office of William J. Wilkins, and then it, um, you can write to the Criminal Investigations Division. And I always share here with you guys that in your locations, it's not about us giving you the list of who we wrote to. You will have a list of entities you can write to as well, too, because there's other entities that I don't share here um, so that they're not bombarded with a whole bunch of people. But yeah, there's other entities you'll be directed to write to, and you'll begin to see, especially at this time, eh? you'll begin to see Remedy show up quick, quickly because people know now it's a different time and stuff. They are going to be executed. They are going to be taken out for the said treason and genocide and stuff. And the fraudulent conveyance of language laws, you guys can write to us for that as well, too. And we also share Donald Trump's, um, thank you for sharing with us, his executive orders, because we use them here when we're writing to him or to others to remind them to use the executive order to go after those who have committed war crimes against humanity, human trafficking, what have you. Anyways, so we'd written to the IRS head. They were the only ones initially that wrote back to us and said that they were going to take her affidavit and they'd sent it over to the proper authorities. And then we were guided to write to um, the United Na United States, um, the United Federal Trade Commission, United States Federal Trade Commission, Antitrust Department. And we wrote a handwritten affidavit with our journey and what our tribe and our elders had been experiencing. And that's when we got the clearinghouse number, the clearinghouse number, um, which is what they shared with us to use to set off and discharge um, any purported debt um, 
uh, taxes disguised as debt, right? So we use that not only for our situations, but for a lot of other situations you hear us talk about here to set off matters because we were made disabled through a lot of the crap that we were subjected to by these very same deep state heads, right? Okay, so when we started seeing the thing with George Floyd now and this ambulance that was a fake ambulance and stuff, it reminded us of the stuff that we were subjected to, right? And I was thinking at one point that the ambulance workers were working for the deep state because of how things were orchestrated. Anyways, we later found out with the George Floyd stuff that a lot of them were actors and stuff. So um, it was reported to us here that the George Floyd story, they reported about him a week before that whole thing took place. Um, you guys will be able to send that to us in more detail, eh? And then all the other crap that was going on with the so-called riots and that um, Antifa, the Boogaloos, whatever, um, Act Blue, and all these Democratic Party-funded organizations that were really set up to um, harm the black people and the gays, um, businesses, right? And the 436-some-odd cities they infiltrated were supposedly pri primarily black um, neighborhoods and gay businesses that they were destroying. So we were telling everyone, if you're going to vote, those of you who are still voting, to make sure you vote for those who are supporting you. Okay? And I don't think the Democratic Party is the way to go at this stage, stage of the game. Ever. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So a lot of stuff was sent to us, and we ended up speaking in our indigenous tongue here to get a lot of stuff rectified and implemented it by the grace of God. We were just going by faith. And a lot of people out there started doing their stuff too in writing and sharing and sending us their stuff that they were doing as well too. And so we were just praying that all the stuff that the people did um, was implemented. Um, yeah. So they sent us this Herbology book um, recently. You guys can write to us for that 388 80-page book. Thank you to Ratio Bay. That book is incredible because it has all these herbs um, that I think he was saying that Dr. Sebi used that book. Dr. Sebi, as you know, was taken out by the same deep state and they had harmed a lot of agents doing business as naturopaths too, eh? So what ended up happening, it seemed a lot of these heads globally ended up standing up and doing the right thing and linking up with Donald Trump and the army, the generals, the navy, the military, the marines to um, clear up a lot of this stuff. And then there were pockets of dissidents that they had to go in and take out. So a lot of stuff that was going on behind the scenes were these arrests and these executions. And I think there's still more going on. I think there's a lot more that's already happened. And I don't think we'll get the list in due time. But yeah, just so you're aware of it, I'm just trying to remember if there's a Loretta Lynch. I think she was also arrested, possibly executed. I'm trying to remember some of the names that she had mentioned in her video because some of the names that are here, um, some of the names that she mentioned are not on this list. So, Harisha, if you get that other list, send it to us and we'll expand on this video and stuff. Anyways, you guys, remember to support us here. Go to PayPal at um, themullings at gmail.com. Um, remember to like, share, subscribe. Uh, remember to give these videos a thumbs up. I don't even know if you can give these videos at this point a thumbs up, but you have to because, I don't know, that's what they're saying is important. Um, and then Donald Trump took over the radio and the news media, the four of them, NBC, ABC, I want to say PBS and CBS. Um, so, yeah. So once he gets all of that in order, we should be able to hear some really good, um, um, correct information coming over the media system. But you guys can do the GSA bonds in the meantime, in between time. We also suspect some of those um, GSA bond heads, they might have to be rounded up because they were listed um, under the Pilgrim Rockefeller Foundation. So were a lot of the heads running these ABC corporations. They had taken bribes and were working with the Nazi communist agents 
right? So now that has to be cleared up. But in the meantime, in between time, people are getting remedy and stuff. And so they're sharing with us that they've gotten back their automobiles. A lot of people have been set free. And so we've tried to make a lot of our stuff here public for everyone to use, basically, as much as we possibly could. And um, we share with you guys in the beginning of the videos and throughout it, some of the steps that we took along the roadway, right? Yes, we did do the copyright on the name. Um, what we did was the powers that be had shared with us initially to do the um, copyright, um, which was the original copyright for 500000 on the name. The name is listed as a denomination. The denomination, it's money, right? The name is money or the money penny. And then they sent us over to the Library of Congress. So we have a Library of Congress, one billion copyright on the name and everything we do, our book and stuff. We've um, shared it with the Library of Congress or wrote to them and asked them to put, just you guys put everything under our um, Library of Congress copyright. So when you hear us write to YouTube heads and stuff, um, um, any entities that we've had to do exchanges with, we use the copyrights, right? You guys can write to us. We'll share with you our stuff. And then um, they sent us to do the United States Patent and Trademark Office too. So we're listed as Asexual Seed Plants, Rubus Red Roses, Angels in Latin, Angels in Latin, Asexual Seed Plants, Rubus Red Roses, because we're seeds and plants and trees, right? And so what we did was our name, the name that you're given is a flower or a tree or a plant. And so I did my mother's and I did my uh, my um, offsprings and my siblings and stuff, right? And they're trees. And so if you get the list, you'll be able to take the name and it's you'll see the genus of the name and what it equates to when we're doing it. I was guided to write that I'm a red rose, right? And I was writing using scripture from the Bible, the Rose of Sharon. And the Rose of Sharon is what I used. And I drew this picture of a rose and I sent it over to the United States Patent and Trademark Office. And then I got a registration number as a rubus red rose, angel in Latin, asexual seed plant. So we're angels and gods. And then when you read the Bible now, Psalms 82, 6, and apparently a whole bunch of other um, scriptures in the Bible that says, ye are gods. So Psalms 82, 6 said, ye are gods. So when Yeshua left, somebody sent me a video yesterday about Jerusalem being in an Antarctica. I think it was Olga. Thank you for that. And this brother had done some research that the real Jerusalem or the real Israel was in Antarctica. You guys go and do some research on that. Send us to us in more detail and we'll talk about that. Because history and law goes hand in hand. And we know that geography that they gave us was wrong. So anyways, um, yeah, that's what we did. And then after that, we were then guided to do a whole host of other stuff. Um, we, did the non, we did the first UCC. Again, like I said earlier, we didn't have... The words to put in it. I didn't. I did it wrong ten different times, you guys. And I finally got frustrated, and I wrote to the. I was just talking to the gods, and I was saying, "Guys, want me to do this? You got to send me the, the right words because I don't know what this is about." Anyways, they sent us the proper words, and so we used that UCC for a lot of stuff. And then, though we we got remedy in some areas, some other stuff was outstanding. And that's what we're saying to Donald Trump to go now and give the people back their indigenous lands globally. Because that's the next step that has to happen. Now there's got to be proper redress, right? And it's great to get these stimulus packages, which a lot of us didn't get, um, especially here. And so, yeah, thank you to the powers that be. Thank you to all of you guys for donating to us. We really, really appreciate it. And our people here, a huge thank you from them to you as well, too. Um and you guys know how we move here. You guys see it. Well, I always think you guys see us, but um, yeah, you have to move around here in a particular way and do your stuff um, by the grace of God is how you're guided, eh? So um, yeah, so a huge thank you to each and, of you, each and every one of you guys for donating to us here. So we've been able to help um, as much as we possibly can with the few people that we've been able to um, as guided by the ancestors to assist men. 
um what else so yeah we just got the and then they sent us i think jonah bay had done the do not detain you guys can go to him the do not detain affidavit and he had done some really good extensive research really liked him so we wrote to jonah bay and we wrote to um, I want to say Yusuf L. We wrote to a lot of these guys. I don't think they got anything that we wrote to them, probably. But for whatever reason, the powers that be shared with us a lot of their research and stuff. So we're very grateful to them. And um, Asir the Duke of Tears did some really good um, research as well. And he was saying that the insurance and um, some other stuff is not reported on the system so go now donald trump and find out the insurances that are collected on all of this genocide war crimes against humanity and treason and how much the hospitals have um racked up with the video we made yesterday about the one million plus charge that um 70 year old senior citizen was subjected to after he came out of the hospital claiming that the, they gave him or he had this so-called patent pandemic scandemic Ah, 9000 a day for his room, plus 83000 for the ventilation um, machine. Or, I'm like, what, huh? But yeah, so go and find out what, what the insurance is made. And then go to the payers, pays or trust family, because they're the ones that apparently own all the insurance companies, right? And find out what they collected, and then send it back to the people. And yeah, because this whole thing is under an insurance scheme which is being orchestrated by the United Nations, which was also funded by Bill Gates, who was funding the World Health Organization, also funding the Center for Disease Control, also funding the National Institute of, um, the National um, Health Institute, as far as um, we had researched. And then you had George Soros, who was assisting in the so-called fu funding of these organizations and a lot of these elites. So it looked like in our research, when we were researching it, some of these celebrities and, and politicians, right, um, made these public announcements that they were supporting, um, I, w I don't want to say starvation, they were supporting these UNICEF and these different charities. What we didn't know was that Red Cross and a lot of these charities were also being funded by the Democratic Party Nazi agents, the YWC and 187 um, corporations that a lot of us ended up using and stuff because we didn't know that these things were set up by this um, Nazi communist agents, right? Anyways, so Donald Trump, you're gonna have to go and figure out how you're gonna um, dissolve some of those companies for the said treason and genocide on the people globally. And then, um, yeah, so they collected all these donations and stuff and then started to reroute funding to do all these terrorist activities with these wars, right? Hence the VA um, Act, that was the Accountability Act, where Donald Trump fired over 9,000 of those so-called workers that were impeding and interfering with the military, um, the VA being able to access proper health care and the stuff that they required. So you had these idiot, wicked people that were, they were put up over in these institutions. And I can list a few in those organizations, too because we were subjected to, I remember fighting for an elder um, after they had arrested this one particular elder and subjected them to all kinds of fraud and crap. Um, I was saying to them that they need to get some finances and that. And when we went into the, um, I want to say the, what's it called? The social services office. They had these Nazi communist agents that had taken over these organizations at the top. So when you ask to speak to a manager or the chief, here here comes some European that's claiming to have authority over the Sescate V Trust. The Sescate V Trust, I was saying, I don't know if you want to collapse it. I think you want to control it. Donald Trump, give us access to the Sescate V Trust so people can access their credit in full now. Full faith and credit as per HJR 192. This video has gone longer than I thought it would too. House Chart Resolution 192 that Franklin Delano Roosevelt set up in 1933. House Joint Resolution, June 5th, 1933. They set up the social security numbers. And I want to say the birth certificate bonds and all these different bonds and stuff that we're supposed to be able to set off 
set off, set off using those bonds and stuff. So, um, what happened was the same Nazi communist agents were using it. So these county heads, municipality heads, these agents in power as de facto agents as per the 1861 coup d'etat that took place. And then in 1913, you guys know they set up the Federal um, Reserve Bank, right? Who, by the way, Donald Trump is now the chairman of the Federal Reserve and they've taken over the treasury, so that's good. Now, um, so what was I going to say? The de facto agents, when they're subject to using Federal Reserve notes as per the 1861 coup d'etat, they're also deemed to be in their private capacity, which is why I was talking about socialism and capitalism prior with that um, agent doing business as university professor. My point being this, Federal Reserve started in 1913. The Nazi communist agents came over here did all this crap, supposedly claiming to be bankers and that, right? Which um, people were saying was the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, and all these um, Prescott, Bush, Clintons, you name it, right? And their scientists that were working under Adolf Hitler to create all this havoc on the masses globally, right? So the capitalism and the socialism, it's a Nazi communism regime. And they were using the Foreign Sovereign Immun Immunities Act, right? And registered to the United Nations as foreign agents, as foreign agents doing business as, um, I want to say the bar, as bar card carrying members. The bar card, the bar association was researched and discovered to be founded on Nazi communism. Nazi communism, people. So, they had to do a whole host of stuff to bring any charges against us. And they were supposed to go to the federal court, the district court, and all this stuff prior to bringing any of those so-called child support cases, foreclosure cases, which I never did. And so that's how that Moore was able to explain to us how to win the cases and stuff is by asking these questions. And now we have the GSA bonds to just set off the, the matter, right? So, um, a lot of stuff has come down the pipeline and we have since researched that, um, yeah, house joint resolution, we're supposed to be setting off and discharging all that stuff from the beginning of time. So they were doing it to, um, for themselves and creating checks using our names and stuff, and then turned around and created tickets and citations mortgages, foreclosures, and what have you, um, and child support cases to get the people to pay their taxes that they owed, right? Because this whole thing I see is a tax matter, right? It's a tax matter. They have to pay the taxes. So they created all these false flags, all this pandemic, all this scamdemic globally to impede the people's right to do commerce lawfully. That's all it is, you know. Our ability to do this whole, all these wars is a commercial war. They're commercial wars and affecting the people's ability to do commerce. And so they have these riots. This place is supposed to open up. They have this other crap talking about a second wave and that for the flu. Like really, and those of us who knew because how it was set up, a lot of us were chosen for this stuff, I guess, many moons prior, whether we knew it or not. And so they knew us from birth. They did our birth charts and could see that as angels, we were sent here for this time, basically, to clean up and protect the planet. Even when you hear me cussing and getting mad at those security guards yesterday or the day before. And yeah, it's to save their life. And so while they're cussing us out and undermining us, right, we're looking at them with like, really, you still can't hear? Because the Bible says, let those who have eyes to see let them see. Let those who have ears to hear, let them hear. Right? Those who have mouths to speak, let them speak. And there's nothing new under the sun. It's in the book of Ecclesiastics. There's nothing new under the sun. This radiation poisoning, they'd set this shit up back in the 1800s. They killed off all these agents doing business, police officers, which is why we're out here fighting for the agents doing business, police officers, because the whole riot thing was apparently orchestrated to kill off the police officers. That's what it was, you know, to kill off the police officers and the blacks. Why so many police officers had to resign in that 
to protect their own lives, right? Which is why the people now had to get their guns because Americans have the most guns in the world and go and protect their cities, right? So when they showed up in Ohio, the people were out in droves. There were seven or 800 people with their guns and they said, light one match, burn one thing so they can take them all out. And they were serious, man. I said, turn around and go back and leave, right? That's what went down. Anyways, you guys, I've done a lot of talking in this video. I was trying to see if there's anything else. Mm. I do these updates every so often because if from my memory to memorize all the stuff that we've been through and to help those that are new to, they write to me when they hear us explain the stuff in detail in that. And yes, a lot of you guys, we know that you share with us as we have here. A lot of people didn't have people in their tribes conscious. So when they were waking up, there was just them. We always say me one in Jesus Christ. Cause it was just, you might have one of you in your tribe that's awake fully. And there's no one really free to turn to, um, with this deep state crap about what's really going on in that. And then you have your wives and husbands who are turning against you because they still are caught up in the social engineering too, under the mind control and all these CIA operations that were going down, doing mind control on the people, right? So the people were believing in the Disneyland and on all the fairy tales and all the crap, only to find out that Disneyland was a part of the deep state as well too, right? Who knew? So, and then all these movies and these producers and these writers were also involved in the same deep state. And so Donald Trump and the military and the army had to go out and take out these 10,000 underground military bases. These underground military bases were where it was where they were doing the human trafficking, these experiments, these pedophilia, these rapings and these killings and all this crap. So that's to blow them up in that. They, they rescued the 35,000 children, probably more. And they had those tents set up in Manhattan. You guys update us as to what's happening there. And so a lot of the children were rescued that way, but a lot of them didn't make it. And so when we started getting this intel um, coming down to us, we had to start to pray and cry. Did we ever cry? Because what we saw in our spirit wasn't pretty. And I don't see, We I have a friend of mine who could see the um, spirits. Like she can see the ghost like in front of her walking. I don't see that. I get, my, my gift is I can feel the energies around me. I can feel and I can hear the ancestors clearly and the gods and the, um, the, I can hear people's thoughts. So, um, that's been my gift and I could hear, um, I can, I know things spiritually that the ethers and the gods tell me some of it. I can talk about some of it. I cannot talk about. And then they give me remedies for people that come to me instantly. Some of them, some of them not. And so those of you who've gotten your remedies and that implement what we shared with you. Um, some of the people we've been able to help instantly, some of them I cannot help. It depends on their energies. And so what happened was the powers that be knew that I'd been given this gift. When I got the gift, I was kind of scared. I told my parents, knew about it. My parents were excited. And my um, immediate people knew about it. And so I went up into the, into the mountains, into the hills, and was domiciled there for, I want to say, 10 plus years and kept it under wraps. I would do phone consultations for people in that. And people were saying, you can read someone over the phone. I could read someone from many miles away. I can see certain things when the spirit of God allows me to do it. Eh? Um, I don't use it all the time. I don't do it all the time. Um, and some stuff I don't even want to know. So in this case, with the pedophilia stuff, what I saw in my soul was heart wrenching. And, um, I did a lot of crying spiritually on this channel. You guys will hear me go off, cry for a second and come back out of it. Um, it's a spiritual warfare, right? And so we had to do a lot of protections for the, the military, the Navy, the army, Donald Trump. And we told you guys to do a lot of praying to read Psalms 121 and to read Psalms 91 until they come out of this stuff, right, man? And still continue to read those scriptures, memorize them like what we did here. 
and we told you guys to memorize Psalms 91, and we told you guys that how we were raised as a culture, we weren't allowed to speak to strangers, and we're not allowed to answer the door to strangers. So we tell you guys those codified messages for various reasons. And so a lot of you guys have been able to implement what we share here with you and until we come out of this stuff fully too, right? And so a lot of the friends that the people that I've become acquainted with are very highly spiritually inclined entities who have different gifts. And so we meet them along our journey as I travel and meet different entities that have different gifts and stuff. And we get to share on a godly, um, yeah, on a higher plane. And it's quite fascinating because it's like we're kind of just observers. We get to sit back and watch from a mountaintop what's going on and then come down, fix stuff, and then go back to our, go back to the hills and meditate and stuff. I was talking to someone recently. They spent 40 days. No, it wasn't 40 days. 40, 90 days. Was it 90 days? I think it was 90 days they spent up in the mountains. And um, they were talking to, uh, I think they were saying they were talking to, what always scares the shit out of me is the mermaids. I'm not a fond of mermaids. And they have lots of mermaids here, right? Real living mermaids, you guys. Like real mermaids. Um, we've been able to see some amazing things in the waters here that show up for us. We've had some amazing experiences on this journey and stuff. Some of it I've reported in the book. Some of it I haven't. I'll write about it eventually and stuff um, when I'm given guidance to do so. I'm not always given the guidance to talk about a lot of stuff I know or they tell me that's going on. Um, I might be able to say it in my indigenous tongue, but even then the spirits kick in and yeah, so um, yeah. Anyways, you guys, like, share, subscribe. You guys have yourself a great day. I've rambled on a 103 minutes into this video. Remember to support us here. Go to PayPal at themillionsofgmail.com. You can write to us and share your stories and stuff. We try to ask you guys to keep your stuff to like two or three lines. Sometimes you guys write an epistle and it takes me a minute to try to go through all the stuff, which I'm still grateful to hear your stuff. But um, yeah, just keep it to a, a minimum for me, please, because it's easier on my eyes to um, see it, basically. And sometimes I, I read it and sometimes I just give you what you need. And um, as I'm guided spiritually, I don't always have to read stuff. I can know what this is about when the universe gives me that edification. And so I try to make these videos uplifting for the masses globally. So you guys around the globe will be aware of what's happening on your neck of the woods and um, be able to be free as well to um, as much as possible until all the stuff is completed, right? There's some pockets left, you guys. That's why I'm, I'm cautious. There's still little some little pockets left. Let me just pray those into existence now so they can be removed. all right, Donald Trump, there's some senior citizens and some babies in those apartment buildings. You've got to go and remove those agents doing business as um, the false flag um, rioters. Remove them now so the people can get out and get food. So the truck drivers delivering the foods can come in and deliver the things to those communities and stuff. Do that now. Do it now. Do it now. Thank you in advance for your speedy response to this matter. By Noble Honorable Angelina D. Offit L. Rubenite Tribe Chief. Uh, Lodial Title Moorish American National Maroon. Um, do it now. UCC 1-308 without recourse, all rights reserved. Um, something I was going to ask the powers that be, I sent you guys some stuff I needed recently. 
um, as you know, Service Ontario wrote back to us, speak to them and stuff and find out uh, an entity we can speak to directly to get the stuff we require here completed. All right, um, we'll follow up as guided and stuff with you guys and them too as the ethers open up. All right, thank you for that. Um, yeah. All right, you guys, remember to support us here. Remember to give these videos a thumbs up. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Um, I want to say something, but I, I don't know how to say it here. Uh, to our brothers and sisters globally, um, I need you guys to, to study law, study law, study law. Um, study law. Once you guys study law and history goes hand in hand, um, you'll begin to get the answers, man. So once you study laws a little bit more, um, the questions you have and what you're requesting will line up automatically. All right. Okay. That's it. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you to all of you for sharing your research with us and we'll wait for some more stuff to come in. And we'll make another video about it as well, too. I hope I've answered all of you guys' questions as much as I possibly could in this um, video. And, um, yeah, so you guys can get the GSA bonds, the 1099 OID, the IRS status correction, and the do not detain affidavit. Go to Jonah Bay as well, too. He's got a lot of really great information. And um, he's a great guy. Go to him and tell him we said thank you.